Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to, and insert the name of whichever criminal justice remote course you're taking. I'm actually going to film this one time for uh, six different courses. So uh, whichever one you're taking, this is instructions on how to log into and view the class uh, remotely. Uh, we are going to be using Blackboard's Collaborate uh, Ultra. And there's a couple different ways, actually about three different ways you, that you can get into the class. The preferred way is to log into Blackboard and actually navigate to the, the uh, classroom through Blackboard. That way you're logged in. Uh, you don't have to add your name or anything uh, and you're good to go. Uh, the second way that you can get to it is by uh, following an, a link that I will be sending out in an email. Uh, there's also going to be a, you know, the first email is going to have a link to this video and you'll just follow that link and all you'll have to do is put your name down, uh, your full name, first and last. I want to make sure I've got a record of who all is there. No nicknames, just your actual, uh, whatever name you're registered at the school under. And then finally, if your, uh, your computer is not working, you can actually call in by phone. Uh, let me back up a little bit. You can log in from this link through uh, through the video service from a computer, from a tablet, or even from a smartphone. Uh, and, and you'll have the full video capabilities. You'll be able to um, participate in the polls and all. If you've got connection uh, problems with the Internet, then it's not going to work because you need, uh, you, you need a, a decent connection. As an alternative, uh, you know, for one or two particular classes that you need to get into, but not a good, good viable option for the entire semester, would be you can dial in and you can hear the class on a phone. Now, there's some issues with this. Uh, you can't participate in the polls or anything of this nature. So if this occurs, uh, you have to definitely let me know that you're calling in uh, and that you, you know, that you're there. So when we have a poll, you'll have to verbally answer uh, if I have anybody call in. I, you know, uh, when we, we did this uh, a couple semesters ago, I had one student had to call in, I think, two different times when they, uh, they weren't able to get a good internet connection. But other than that, everybody else was able to get in. Now, sometimes they got in, they got out, they got in, they got out. It, you know, always, you know, uh, especially on Wi-Fi, you may lose connections, but, you know, that's beside the point. So, uh, first question is, when do I log in? Well, kind of depends on what class you're in. And somewhere I had a, uh, let me pause this for a minute and find my presentation. Okay, well, the, uh, the software that I'm using to record this was covering up the file, but I was able to get to it. So let me get out of the way and we'll talk about which class and when you need to, to sign in. Oh, let me, there, there we go. I'm out of the way now. Okay, so um, in the event that all the course is made, and at the point that I'm um, recording this, it's still a little bit up in the air about whether there'll be enough enrollment for every class. But if you're enrolled in the criminal investigation class, you will need to be in class virtually, uh, which means logged into the, the, the classroom on Mondays and Wednesdays from 8 a.m. Uh, the class ends about 9.20 a.m. Uh, if you're in the police systems and practices class, that will be from 9.30 a.m. until 10.50 a.m. on Monday and Wednesday. Uh, the juvenile justice class is from 8 a.m. to 8, uh, until 9.20 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, the fundamentals of criminal law is from 9.30 a.m. to, to 10.50 a.m. again on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then we've got the two afternoon classes. Mr. Uh, Commander Phillips' uh, legal aspects class will meet on Mondays and Wednesdays from 1 p.m. to 2.20 p.m. And Mr. McMurray's class on correctional systems and practices will meet on, um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, again, from 1 to 2.20 p.m. Now, each one of these classes will have a different um, link. So if you're logging in, not through Blackboard, and remember, Blackboard is the preferred way to get into the course. It seems to be more stable and work a lot better when you go that route. But if you you know, want to do it from your cell phone, that's probably not a good option with Blackboard. You would use the link. 
uh, each class is going to have a different link. So if you log into the class, uh, you're, you're in a couple of different classes and you log into criminal investigation at 8 a.m. and by you know 8 a.m. there's no one else in the classroom, check your link. You may have logged into the wrong one because they are all going to be open. And uh, if you're the only one in there, go back and, and look and make sure you're in the right one. Okay, so now let me see if it will let me get back. There it is. Back to Blackboard. Okay, so what we're going to do here is you just log into Blackboard like you normally would. You should land on the dashboard screen over here on your left where you have your navigations to your weekly content, where you have your, your quizzes and so forth and your exams and your, your research paper, or in the case of criminal investigation, the mock crime scene. We'll keep going down in the communication, and there's a, a link called Virtual Meeting Room. So you will click on that. Let me go ahead and kill my cameras because on here because hopefully it'll let the camera in. It it may not. My mic is being used. I may have some issues because the software I'm using to um, you know, kind of to record this is also using the mic and camera. But uh, hopefully it will work just fine. So all you do is click on the the classroom here, uh, which will be named after the course. It says course room. And then it will bring up your little pop-up window. Here has the, is where the dial-in information is. So if you've got a dial-in, um, you can also log in. If, you, if we can't hear you in the class, you can log in and have your voice come up through the dial-in. So you know that, that's a, a kind of another option uh, where you can just see it, but you can't hear it. Uh, you, can, you can log in through the, the dial-in. So we're going to simply do the uh, the join the classroom. Well, let me, on my computer, if I hit this dial in, it actually comes up with something that will allow me my phone to automatically call. I never tried that. I just saw that this morning. Uh, but if we click on join classroom, it's going to take a few seconds for this thing to to launch. Uh, you get to see the pretty magenta colored wagon wheel spinning around, and eventually it will log you in. Now there are several things in here in the classroom that you need to be aware of. One, you want to always activate your video. I want to see you. I need to see that you are actually there and that you are not um, off somewhere. Now it's going to ask for permissions to put up the, the camera. Again, since the camera is uh, in use by a different program, even though I tried to turn it off, it, it wouldn't. Um, well, let's see. Let me see if it's no, it's not going to let me share it because of the other camera. But normally you'll click on that, and you'll click share video. The next thing you will do is you'll have the 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 audio muted. I think most of you are aware with remote meetings and so forth. You don't want a room full of people with their audio and you get to hear all kinds of background noise. So mute it and only turn it on when you have something to say or I call on you, which I will be doing during class. I'm sure the same will occur in the Mr. McMurray and Commander Phillips class. The other thing that you'll have here is going to be to raise your hand. You can click on it to raise your hand if you have a question. Please do that, and you, you will be called on. Now, we'll, uh, you can turn it off after that. Um, you also have ability to do chat. Uh, you got this little box over here. Move my screen over just a little bit so you can see it. With the, the little arrows, if you click on that, then you can type into the chat. Um, there's only I'm the only one in here, so you, you can't. Uh, well, that's about all you can do right now is, is type it in, um, or you can actually see a list of of the students that are in the classroom if you'd like, uh, and you can actually chat. We'll get this out of the way with. Um, if there's more than one person, you're going to chat with just one person, or is the class kind of limited? If you have some questions, that's fine um, that, that you can type in there. But but don't if you've got a question, the preferred method is to raise your hand and ask it out loud because it can be very distracting when you're trying to teach the class if you've got um, chat conversations going on. But if you can't hear me uh, and I can't hear you, this is a place to to put information like that. Um, the only other thing that's going to occur, you'll have a on this screen, um, you'll have the, a video going, 
Uh, you will also have the PowerPoint presentations up here. And occasionally there will be polls up there where the question will be asked and you'll have to answer. You simply do your choice. It'll be either yes, no, or A, B, or C, uh, A, B, C, D answers, something of that sort. It's important that you are present during the, the presentation and that you participate in the polls because that's how we determine that you're here. You don't participate in the polls, you're going to end up being marked absent. Just kind of keep that in mind. You have to be not just logged into the system, but actually uh, present in mind. Now, the other thing I'm going to show you real quick is how to log in anonymously. Uh, so if I go, come over here, I've got my link set up. Again, each class will have its unique link. So we'll click on that, and hopefully it will open. Let me get back over to, and there it is. Here you want to type in your name. Um, and then hit join session. And again, use your name as it is uh, in in Blackboard because this is going to be part of the role. We get a, a log of who has logged in. So once I get join the session here, it's going to log me in. And again, it may come up with permissions and so forth. Let's see if it'll let me use the camera here. I'm sure it won't. Yep. Nope. It's not. And I'm not going to turn the mic on because I would get uh, feedback. But now if I go over here to the chat screens, it shows I've got two people here um, and I can actually um, send a chat to that user and that person in particular and so forth. But don't spend too much time doing things like that, but if you do have questions, you can or you need to contact another student about you know, studying together or something like that, you can, you can use that chat service. That's about all there is to it, other than uh, the dial-up. You'll, you'll see that uh, if you're in the system already in the classroom and you want to find the dial-up because you can't hear, then you can use this uh, these flat lines over here. Click on it, and you can click on here, and it will give you the dial-up and the PIN number to call. Um, you know, in, in, again, I've had some students use it. It does work, but it is by far not the preferred method because, uh, you know, now if you, if you've got this screen going at the same time, then you can still participate in the polls. But if you, you don't have an internet connection, the dial up is a last, um, resort to get to the class because you will get the information, but you're not going to be able to see anything. Well, that's all I've got for you right now. I uh, hope this is informative, and I will be seeing y'all in class uh, very soon.